got two niggas shooting at me, no. I had to get rid of that. Yeah, these niggas is playing. They trying to kill me. Where they go? Rifle shit, nigga. Get your ass out of here. Rogue agent neutralized nearby. He's coming right now. Here, no. Oh, he running past. Here's the another thing. one behind you. Another one behind you. Oh my god. That was too bad, nigga. Another one over here. Oh no, that's uh, the clutch. No, chill. It's another one. This one, he trying to run and hide, huh? What the, the NPCs? I'm not supposed to get up though. You over here with me? I'm with you. You got my mind or? You might have it. Two of them on me right now. Fuck all that fucking running. He, he doing that, 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 uh, what's the name right there? That boss right there. He ain't getting shot. Uh. This nigga. <laughs> I'm melting that nigga, bro. I still got it. I just need my gears up. Just keep running circles. How the fuck? I got, he, he, um, got he, he got some good movement. He got good movement though. He he got really good. Yeah. Movement. Yeah, another one. What's that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Rogue blinder firefly detected. Yeah. Like a rifle. They're coming. Yeah, see him. We got three. One coming on now. Oh my God, melted him. Papa make it. 
run away. This is what people do. They run away in a dark soul. You running? If you're that. I guess you died. <laughs> you talking shit. You need all that help, though. <laughs> Good job, bro. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Fernando the Plug, bringing you a TU-10 build. Now, this is going to be focused on the Foundry Bulwark. Now, um, I've seen a lot of these build, and uh, they usually focus on survivability, a lot of armor regen, that type of thing. Uh, I don't see too many with hazard protection. Uh, I might work on one of those later because... Um, this one is usually, uh, the way I built this one, it's supposed to be a counter to most of those guys who just like to chicken dance most of the time and then come around and shoot you. So, um, so far it has worked out the way that I needed it to. So let's just go ahead and uh, jump straight into the build. So the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be the specialization. Now, um, you can definitely use anything you want. Usually I use Gunner, uh, not for this build specifically I'm gonna be using firewall uh, I have bills with technician demolition I stay away from survivalist right now unless I'm doing the raid and then uh, sharpshooter I usually use that for PVE the biggest things that you're gonna need in the firewall is gonna be the crusader shield the med kit uh, the health on kill and then uh, you got the burn damage when you uh, get your armor broken with uh, what is that called uh, fury response one armor break applies burn uh, to enemies within five meters and then um, you got that cluster grenade which is somewhat decent if you can actually hit someone in so many clusters most of the time you don't but uh, the weapons I'm using is gonna be the assault rifle the shotgun and the SMG now going into the build now I am still farming to uh, fix some things up I'm trying to minimax this build uh, hopefully we'll get there but uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about the guns first. Uh, I'll start with the uh, the backup boomstick. Um, it's pretty maxed out um, all the way through. Headshot damage. Uh, I definitely don't want Ranger there, but uh, I haven't found one better yet. Uh, I use this just for backup. If I see somebody with low health or trying to put on a med kit, I'll pull this out, try to hit them with that. Then we got the Fomus, uh 13 assault rifle damage, 16.5 uh, health damage. 6% damage to armor. Now I usually go damage to armor for most of my builds only because uh, damage uh, to targets out of cover. If they hit a wall, if they go into cover at all, you completely lose that damage. So when it comes to fighting people with rifles and things like that, uh, as soon as they hit that wall, you've lost like 10% multiplicative damage. Uh, it's, it, it, it doesn't seem reliable to me, uh, but the damage to armor is always reliable when it comes to shooting those targets. Uh, I also have for the talent on here is going to be measured. So the top half of my magazine, I get 20% fire rate, negative 30 weapon damage, and plus 30% total weapon damage. I usually use this gun to finish a person off if I see them in their health pool already. Um, this build, like I said, it does not have a whole lot of damage, but it hits like it has a whole lot of damage. So when it comes down to finishing that target, you would definitely finish that target uh, with those couple bullets that you put on them because of the health damage. Uh, next, we're going to talk about the Lady Death. Now, the Lady Death got a somewhat good uh, buff when it comes to TU-10. Uh, TU-9, I did not touch this gun because of the magazine size, uh, but lately uh, I've been seeing a lot of people using this gun, including me. So um, let's go ahead and talk about this, the, the pros and cons of using this gun. So um, basically my role, uh, well for right now I'm hitting 72.4k. Uh, I lose 20% of that when I go into the uh, DZ. 15% uh, SMG damage, 20.5% critical hit chance, and 4% damage to armor. Now, if you do roll this, 15% um, critical hit chance is about usually what you'll need. Um, you don't need it at 20%. I don't keep anything less than 15%. So that's that's on you if you want to do that. Uh, I would have liked my uh, damage to armor to be maxed out as well. But uh, that 4% is actually working okay for me right now. I'm not going to roll this again uh, for a while. Uh, the talent is going to be breathe free. When moving, gain 4%. Uh, well, not 4%, but gain 4 stacks per second or 8 stacks if sprinting up to 32 stacks total. Each round fire consumes a stack, amplifying damage by 75%. Kills grant plus 20% movement speed for 10 seconds. So 
the thing I like about this gun the most is because they've removed the booster hive and we don't get that speed boost anymore. Um, once I kill a target, I can pretty much move to wherever I want. So uh, a lot of this build is going to be positioning and knowing who to hit first. So if you see somebody that you know has under a million health, you can burn them with one clip with a full stack. Definitely just just gone. I'd say um, the where it's going to get tricky is going to be that 1.3 unbreakable. You might need two. Uh, anything over that, um, it could be two to three. Now with this gun, this gun is built for chicken dance. This gun is built for the chicken dance. We, I was hoping the chicken dance would be done with, but it is not. Because of the magazine size it being so low, people have to chicken dance. They want to shoot you with the stacks, then they want to run, reload, get their stacks back, and then shoot you with it again. It, it's it's non-stop chicken dancing and if you're fighting somebody who has a full armor regen built like this it could take you forever to kill them and this is where it's going to come down to the counterpoints uh, when I speak on that now uh, for basics uh, basic quality of the the build uh, it is nice uh, it works well uh, you can run it solo or with a team, and I'll speak about that when we go into the armor. So first off, what we're going to talk about is how much armor I have, how much health I have. Uh, the armor that I am rocking right now is going to be 1.5 million. Uh, the health is going to be 314.2k. And um, me, personally, I try to stay away from the 511 tactical because the Paragon gives you health every time you do a full cycle. Once you hit scavenging, you get the bonus health and you can see right there in the middle it says SHD level 918 current health boost plus 27k uh, 540 health you get that every time you do a full cycle so I stay away from uh, the health uh, the health boost in those brand sets because they're not really needed for me uh, per se uh, other people if that's your type of deal you can definitely use those now the thing that I'm using to counter with these builds is going to be the Crusader shield because I have the lower damage because this build only has two reds here as you can see only have two red uh, core items or two red core attributes um, you get the extra damage in front of you the players behind you get extra damage uh, the downfall for this shield is that it has very low health uh, it does come back fast though so you don't have to worry about that too much and then the thing that's countering the chicken dance is going to be the riot foam chem launcher now you can if you foam someone and get a full headshot you can pretty much down them every time tanks it doesn't matter if they run the full armor regen you can pretty much kill them down the whole the all of their armor all of their health uh, like I said it gets a little bit tricky once they have like 1.3 with unbreakable 1.7 2 million it might take two or three clips to kill those guys now the mask that I am using is the foundry bulwark of course now when it comes to gear sets I am very picky so we're gonna go over the the full set and then I'm gonna go into uh, what I'm looking for and why I have this now so first off you got the two piece is gonna give you 10% armor total armor that's kinda like the old true patriot used to be uh, before the patch or the armor switch over then we have the three piece uh, armor regen now you just get that instead of having to go into Gila guard and golden gear um, I do have builds like that as well but um, this one is much more effective by only having a three piece and then for the four piece you get the makeshift repairs whenever you or your shield takes damage 20% of the amount is repaired to both over 15 seconds now I do like this but right now it is bugged I have seen it a couple times uh, it'll it'll proc a couple times and then sometimes it won't I haven't really had a bad time with it I, I would just take the makeshift repairs out when they actually fix that bug it'll be way more effective reason being uh, you can hide behind your shield and get armor back the because if they touch your shield or you both of them are healed so if I put my shield up it's gonna heal me over 15 seconds as well now the mass I chose here I have uh, one 114,113 armor here and I have I went ahead and rolled the critical hit damage because like I said I wanted uh, damage uh, I wanted a damage build of the bulwark and then I have the incoming repairs now this is not an ideal mask for me 
the mask that I'm looking for. Um, I'm looking for a mask with max armor and at least 10% critical hit damage already rolled on there so that I can roll that mod slot to a red to get more critical hit damage. And the reason I say this is because uh, right now, if I look at my stats for my Lady Death, I'm at 50.2% critical hit chance, 118.2% critical hit damage. Now I know for a fact, if I minimax this build, I can get my critical hit damage to 150 and I will hit a lot harder because of that. Uh, the thing that I've never liked about these gear sets is that they come with uh, just two attributes. You get your core and then just your regular attribute. Uh, they're more effective in the top slots, but a lot of times you don't want to use, you don't want to lose that that chest piece talent, and you don't want to lose that back piece talent. So um, they're they're more effective at the top instead of the bottom, but they they work better for you to be at the bottom half that'll be your holster your knee pads and your gloves because then you can get more attributes at the top now um i don't i don't know how many videos you would look at who would explain that to you but um i just thought i should say that um but overall the mask is nice for right now but when i go ahead and minimax it i am looking for max armor looking for at least 10 percent critical hit damage so that i can roll that red uh, critical hit damage and set that mod slot there next on the list I'm going to talk about the chest piece I'm using now this is not really the chest piece that I want I've had this chest piece since the beginning of warlords I have just not found anything better I use this chest piece for a lot of builds uh, I've rolled my core attribute a couple times I used to have all reds and I switched it to blue but right now this works out pretty fine uh, I'm not mad at the headshot damage because uh, like I said before you're foaming these guys so you got you got clear headshots as long as you're maneuvering right um, you definitely want to position yourself when using this build and you want to you want to use that speed boost to effectively move to wherever you need to be next so when it comes down to this the headshot is great uh, I got max armor on there at uh, 170k then I have the lower attributes at 11% critical hit damage 8.1% explosive resistance 12% critical hit damage and I am using unbreakable now this is a solo running build when it comes to this chest piece now if I'm running with my team and I have a uh, I usually have a tank that runs tardigrade so that then I don't need the unbreakable so if my armor breaks I, I basically still have an unbreakable when it comes down to it uh, when I'm running with my team I use the Vanguard instead now Vanguard uh, deploying a shield makes it invulnerable for five seconds and grants 45 percent of my armor to my team for 20 seconds the cooldown is 25 seconds now when using this also I get the 15 percent critical hit damage just for having the one piece of the brand set now this works perfectly because then I'm hitting that 130 I, I I do see the damage difference when putting this chest piece on as well that's why I was saying like before if I get everything minimax and get that 150 critical hit damage and everything like I like it it'll be perfect and it'll run through anybody but for this chest piece uh, it's, it's not the best uh, I got the 12.5 percent weapon damage uh, skill haste that's the only reason I use this because I can still use the skill haste for my shield just in case it goes down or getting back my foam and then I got the 10 percent critical hit damage and I rolled the red mod slot on there so I could put more critical hit damage there since I was lacking it on my mask all right and this is like I said just for team oriented builds if you're trying to synergize um, I wouldn't use this much in PvP if you're going solo uh, especially not with uh, not without the tardigrade because like I said now you're uh, vulnerable depending on how you're playing if you get surrounded you're gonna die every time next we're gonna talk about the holster now the holster I'm using uh, same thing it's got that core attribute um, 121k and then we got 648 for the armor and then the attribute I rolled uh, 6 percent critical hit chance now I wrote that 6 percent critical hit chance because me personally I like my critical hit chance on my weapons to be from 45 to 60 now I wanted to make sure that just about every other shot was going to crit that's why I went ahead and wrote that 6 percent there if I was doing something else I would have just wrote the critical hit damage now um also again I think I said previous already when I'm when I'm looking for these pieces I'm looking for them to drop with the critical hit damage already on them uh, if it's below 10% I usually get rid of it now for the knee pads 
Uh, this is going to be one of the reds. I went ahead and rolled weapon damage on there, and as you can see, I already had the 10.9% critical hit damage. Then for the gloves, it's going to be the same way. I got the 10.3% critical hit damage, and I just rolled another 15% weapon damage there. Now for the backpack, the backpack needs a lot of work. I went ahead and I rolled the armor there. Uh, I am using the Walker Harrison Co. Uh, brand set. And I just took the 5% weapon damage. I would like to get that damage to armor, but with the brand set, it's just not going to happen. Uh, I could try to find a chest piece with Unbreakable and swap that uh, provenance off because I don't necessarily need the 10% headshot damage. But uh, it's, it's, it's still in the making, and we're still working it out here. But uh, the uh, lower attribute, I got the 3.7% critical hit chance and 4.5% weapon handling. And then I just went ahead and put that 12% critical hit damage mod there. Uh, the talent I'm using for my backpack is going to be the perfect adrenaline rush. Whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy, gain 23% bonus armor for 5 seconds. Stacks up to 3 times. And the cooldown is 5 seconds. Now, overall, with this build, um, it's definitely great. Um, the way I like to try to start off, when I when I press someone or I know that we're going to go rogue or somebody's going rogue at me, I usually try to shoot my first, my first clip off with the Lady Death. Now, the Lady Death is my main weapon that I'm using just about most of the time. Like I said, I use the Fomus just to finish. So I'm going to shoot that first clip, see how much armor I can get off of you, right? Then I'm going to run around a little bit. I'm getting ready for to use the foam. Now, another thing that people might not know, if you switch to your foam chem launcher, it does not remove your stacks on the Lady Death. And this is a huge, huge reason to use this. And it has so much stopping power for it, especially when you're in a team. When you hit that, uh, when you hit that foam, and I'm pretty sure you saw in the video because I was in a team most of the time, uh, as soon as we hit that foam, those guys don't go down quick. And if you're looking for those headshots, they will go down even faster for that multiplicative damage. And that damage to armor is amazing, especially with that 75% boost from those stacks. So you definitely want to do that. So you run in, shoot a little bit of the clip if you want to, or you can shoot the full clip. Go ahead, reload, get your stacks back up, hit them with the foam shoot them in the head just about every time you'll kill them if they got unbreakable you just got to do it one more time it's, it's literally that simple all right so uh, i hope you guys like the build um and i guess i'll catch you in the next one peace